Hey, what's going on guys? It's uh, it's your boy Silent again, bringing you another uh, YouTube tutorial. Uh, this is actually more of a demo than a tutorial, but whatever. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how to uh, generate a, an uh, XEX, Xbox executable image on your own, uh, customly done or whatever. So uh, let's uh, let's get in let's get into it. All right. So before uh, before you can generate it, you're gonna need these two items: Windows Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate. Uh, you're gonna install that first, and then you're gonna install Xbox Neighborhood full install. All right. You install this, and then okay, you get that. All right, and once you got that installed properly, uh, gonna, first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up 2010 uh, Ultimate and create a new Xbox 360 uh, solution. So I've already uh, I've already pre-done all this, so it should make this this solution uh, this tutorial a little bit smoother. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a new, a new one here. All right, so. <clears throat> Make sure the game is selected. <clears throat> okay, so uh, next thing we want to do is we want to copy over our XKE lib library files and set dependency paths. You can look at these pictures if you want. We'll leave them on the in the description. gonna drop the XKE full uh, you're gonna drop that folder that I just copied here into the same directory as the SLN file
Oops, wrong one. Okay, so this one. Just uh just copy exactly what I'm doing if you're struggling to set the the uh, dependency pass. I forget where the other one's at here. Oh, there it is. And then the last thing we want to do here, forgot to mention before I get forget to mention it. I'll add that in here in instruction. I'll add that in here into the instructions. So when you uh, when you add the, when you add the uh, dependency libraries to uh, to your properties, uh, you might have to close your application out and reload it again a couple times. But what should happen is the XKE lib will uh, populate in external dependencies here, and then you add it to your header to your header files here, so it can read the library read the libraries from the XKE library thing yeah <laughs> all right then we want to create our XML file properties then we are going to copy this code in the XML file and save it Okay. All right. 
and then then we're gonna now we're ready to set up our uh, main DLL uh, stuff. Sure, I'm going here. I am. All right, so uh, this is just a sample entry, so. This one to you. I'll also provide you um, I forget what it's called tools section so it allows you to run this so, uh, things like this resolve function here Okay, let us attempt to create our image. It should work. Cross our fingers and hope to die. Uh, let's do build first. Alright, and I just hit rebuild just to be on the safe side. We set this to our debug folder here. And then there it is. All right, so let's test it. I'm copying over my that new uh, silent that new image that I just generated. All right. So. What I did there is uh, basically just set up a simple notify. So when I run this image, when this X, when the Xbox boots back up, uh, we should see that notify say success, uh, indicating that we successfully created the image and got it running. When dashboard boots up.
There should be a few second delay here. And there you go. Boom. Successfully created our own XEX image from scratch and made a simple little uh, notify message. Just like that. Okay, so uh, before uh, I end this tutorial, this video, and I let you guys go, um, I just wanted to say a few comments here. Uh, first off, I I honestly find it amazing that nobody, <clears throat> and I mean like nobody in this entire world, like six, seven billion people on the planet, has ever made anything remotely like this before. I have... I've searched through a tons of forums and no one at once has explained how to make these XEX images. I mean, yeah, people have provided you source files, but nobody's exactly ever explained how you set those up. So hopefully this might help out a few people. Uh, the last comment I wanted to, uh, I wanted to make. Okay. So, uh, for any of you people out there that, want to provide me any uh, hurtful or hateful comments okay I don't care for them all right I'm gonna filter them through I filter all my comments through through a uh, YouTube system and so if they if they're if you know if you, if you call me a skid if you're if you're if you're insulting my, my speech or whatever okay I'm just gonna automatically delete it if you got a problem with my video Problem with any of my videos, okay? Don't tell me about it. Just move on, move on to somebody else, okay? I, I I don't care. I'm 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 doing this stuff to inform you, okay? I'm not doing this for for popularity, for attention, for an audience, for money. All right, I, I'm taking I am taking my sweet. I'm taking time out of my day to research this. This stuff takes me it takes me hours to do. Okay, uh, the reason I'm saying this is because I've I've had a, most people usually give me good comments. Most people usually like my videos, and they the only reason I do this is because of the number of people that request it and and tell me how much they appreciate what I do for them for the community modding community. But there's always a few number of people though, a few number of people that want to uh, give me crap. I guess I, I don't care for you. I I really don't. Right? If you're going to give me constructive feedback, I'm always down for that. But to me, constructive feedback is uh, telling me what I did wrong, all right, and how can I, how I can do better next time, right? Something like uh, maybe I maybe in this process I forgot a certain part. Okay, to me that's constructive feedback, not uh, attacking uh, how the artwork on my HUD work, uh, looks or uh, attacking uh, my my personal attributes like my speech how supposedly I'm mumbling okay if you got a problem with how I talk I, I don't know what, I don't know what the hell to tell you I, honestly just F off dude <laughs> really or if you're a gal I, I, I don't care that's your problem alright okay that that's all I want to say